Hi everyone, I hope you guys are having a fantastic Saturday. So today I am doing a long overdue video on Sailor Moon. I know these past videos have been about Pulip, um, but today is um, making a review and I guess showcasing you guys what I've gotten so far. And I guess that's basically it. So I've gotten, you know, some stuff. Um, some other things I have not been able to get um, due to bad luck, you know, I guess. Um, so I'll, I'll tell you guys more as I go on. <clears throat> so starting off with the Sailor Moon figure arts figure. Um, I got her a couple months ago. Um, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I don't remember, September, October, I don't know when I got her, but it was a couple months ago. I got her through Amazon.com. She's currently still available there for $50, um, but since I pre-ordered her, I believe it was a little bit cheaper. Um, I can't remember how much it was originally, but I know I did not pay $50 for her. So, here is the front of the box, as you can see, Sailor Moon in her traditional pulls with the official sticker here saying that this is official um... let's see um... some of the things here are in japanese writing which i'm assuming it's saying pretty guardian sailor moon and it's definitely from bandai one of the best companies i would suppose i guess best company in releasing sailor moon merchandise now and of course in the past so you see that on the top this on the side this pulls on the side and then we have the back piece which shows you the different poses she could make with the pieces that she comes with okay so now I'm gonna open her for you guys of course she's been opened by me but I just put her in a box so I could show you guys for the purposes of showing you how she comes with and but yeah she has been opened so this is how she comes not with this pose but you know this is how she comes in her in her packaging I would I would say so she comes with let's see how many hand sets she comes with one two I say one two three I guess hand sets or let's just count the hands individually one two three four five six seven eight nine with the ones that she has on, on her right now and she comes with six faces including the one that she has of course she has to come with Luna and oh and another hand here holding her tiara pose right where she attacks and her two wands and of course you know I don't know if I said it Luna so now I'm gonna take her out so you guys could take a closer look of her so let's take out Sailor Moon so Sailor Moon, I could tell you, this figure is extremely detailed. I would say I'm very happy with it. It is extremely accurate. She's extremely very well done and posable. So her head can move left and right, okay, up and down, as you can see. Oops, and one of her headbands fell, which is okay, guys. It's okay that if that happens if you get her because you could easily just put it back in like this uh, let's see if we could stay in okay so again up and down side to side very posable and it's not gonna break it's pretty pretty just very good very a little stiff but not so bad it's pretty good then her hands her arms move in several ways that I'm like wow you could pose this girl in how many ways you want so of course you can move her like this you could bend her her elbow right her wrist same thing up and down side to side okay very posable there so you can move your hand her hand all the way back when her hair fell off again and see look at this very posable now let's start off by here the middle where her bow is same thing up and down side to side a little bit not so much then her legs look at this very posable she is very posable okay same thing with the other okay 
So let's put on her head. Hair keeps falling off. I don't know why, but she has a minor of her own. And so now let me demonstrate how the face is. You know, how you can put the face on her or the hands. So here they are again. Oh my gosh, a wand just fell. Here they are again. And let's see, let's get. See, one of my favorite faces, I don't know, I just love it. The crying one, I love the crying face, but she also comes with others, as you can see here. Okay. And the doll is made of kind of like a hard plastic material. But it's very nicely made, so let's get the crying face. And let's put it on her face. So I'm going to show you how you are able to do that. I don't know why her hair keeps falling off. So this part may look a little scary, but don't be afraid in doing it if you have her because she's well made and it's not going to break. Just hold her head, right? And by the side, right here, just start pulling the other way, okay? Mine has been done many times, so that's what's a little loose, but the first time you do it, it's scary. Go like that, okay? This is her hair, you could put it back on it right and it has this on the back and then do the same thing with the face slowly take your time right if you're you know you don't want to break her and voila face is off and this is what's on the back and then we could put our face okay press in gently and then we could put the hair on top see and now with the hands with the hands you know just I would recommend hold her by this part right of her arm and just pull up see little hole there and a little thing there so you could put it and let's just put a random hand let's see which random hand I could put put this one oops let's see And there you go. See? Not so bad. Why did this keep falling off? Okay, but there you go. Now, to show you. These are the ones that she comes with. They're very detailed. And sorry that my hand is shaking. I just don't want to drop them. They're very small and they don't barely weigh much and I don't want to lose them. So these are the ones. Okay. They're hard plastic, kind of rubbery, but they're durable. Okay. So, um, besides that, she also comes with Luna. And Luna herself, believe it or not, is kind of posable. She could move her head up and down. Let's see if I could show that. Up and down. Okay. Very nicely done. Looks just like Luna. No, not kind of like bootleg, messed up, weird looking face. She looks really good. And that's basically it, guys. Um, what do I think of it? I think it's fantastic. Um, it's affordable compared to other Sailor Moon items. And especially if you're a collector, you know that these things do not come cheap. Um, I absolutely love it and I recommend it. Again, you could get her at Amazon.com. Um, I know you could get her in other places, but if you're in America, America, that's the best place I would recommend you to get her. So, there she is. So now what else? Show you real quick. I also got Sailor Mercury. Um, she's a little cheaper than Sailor Moon. I believe she's $40. Also bought in Amazon.com. You can also get her at Crunchy, Crunchyroll.com if you're interested in looking there. And this is how the box looks like. Let's see? very pretty and just like Sailor Moon I would tell you that I am also extremely happy on oh, her hands are everywhere extremely happy to say that this figure is extremely accurate to the actual character and very nicely made material very posable let me show you very posable like Sailor Moon this thing is really on there 
She is very poseable like Sailor Moon and it's just she's just very she's very beautiful. And let me show you how she looks. Again, extremely poseable like Sailor Moon. She is just really pretty, just like the character. The colors are very accurate. I know with the Sailor Mercury, I know like in the past when I've owned other Sailor Mercury merchandise that it's not accurate like the hair is a different color she looks kind of like a boy and other merchandise but this one I gotta say they got it right so take a closer look she is just lovely all right and she comes with her little I don't even know what to call it but her little accessory that she uses to you know look up information with the Sailor Scouts little computer see she has one open and the other one is closed and of course she has to come with her glasses right her little smarty glasses that we can also put on let me put it on so you guys you guys can see again it's the same process like Sailor Moon okay and well I'm not taking off the face on that one but just taking out the part of the hair and then there we go see lovely so that's basically what that figure arts figure now what else have I gotten that maybe you guys could see I also got recently this one came out recently the Sailor Moon wand pen um I got it in oh my gosh what was the name of that website I think it's it's J list something J something J list in Japan something like that. I'll put the link under my video so you guys can look there. And it's actually very small. It's supposed to be a pointer. So let me see if I could show it to you guys. It's supposed to be a pointer, but it's very nicely detailed. I don't even know if I'll be using it because it's just so pretty. Um, I believe it cost me with shipping. I think it was like twenty five dollars from Japan. Okay, so this is how it looks. And then you could just pull it up. And that's it. You could teach class. Be like, hey, this and this and this in Sailor Moon fashion. I heard someone say that it also could turn into a pen, but quite honestly, I do not know where. If you know where, you could let me know, please. But this is how I see it. Or maybe there's a different version. Okay? very pretty Sailor Moon merchandise now another thing that I've gotten to includes a little kinda like figure keychains this I also got from Japan on a website I'll put it on my on my video the link very pretty figures they're so accurate it is so cute these are my two favorites which is Luna and Artemis I absolutely love them they're made out of like hard rubber hard rubber plastic material but they're durable they're just so cute and it comes with the whole set I pre-ordered these so it comes with Luna and Artemis as you can see there they're all so cute and chibi they're just so cute then we have Sailor Mars in her traditional pose look how cute they are okay then we have let me see what else I can show you Sailor Venus in her traditional pose as well. They're just so cute. I don't know how anyone could use these. Okay. Then we have. I still have them in heart um, in the packaging, you know, just to make sure that they're okay and safe. Um, Sailor Moon. They're so cute, right? Look how cute they are. And let's see, we have, who do we have here? Sailor. Yeah. Let's see. Sailor Mercury. In her traditional pose. Look how pretty. I don't know how anyone would not want these. They're so cute. Oh, so cute. And who else am I missing? I believe I'm missing Sailor Jupiter. Look how cute. They're so cute. 
So you could get it at that website I just told you. It's called JP List or something like that. It's a Japanese website, but they do ship to U.S. and in other countries. And shipping costs do vary, of course, by your location. I got it there. I believe it was like for $25, okay? Just very cute. And I know they recently announced about three days ago that they're releasing the Series 2 on that, which includes the Outer Sailor Scouts. I know a lot of people are excited for that one. Um, I might get it. I'm not sure yet um, because Outer Scouts merchandise is hard to obtain these days and they barely even made them back in the day. So I probably might get it. And that's basically it. Oh, one moment. I did not show you. Both figure arts figures come with their stands. I didn't show you that. My bad. And the stand is basically very movable. You can move it in any way possible, maybe. I guess you like to put your figure there. And it's a three part stand. See, this one's Sailor Moons, okay? Then it has this part to it that connects to the stand. This. And then we have this. See? And then this, where the you could put the waist, right? Where you can put the doll, it opens and closes. I love it. Okay, I didn't show you that. So that's basically it. Um, I know there's other stuff that's come out, and um, so let me tell you, I guess, a little story about that. Um, so I pre-ordered the Sailor Moon. What is it? The powder locket that came out. Um, a couple months ago, I pre-ordered it oof, months in advance. I was not lucky and I did not get it. They canceled my order. They said that they had, um, I guess, oversold lockets that they didn't even have. So mine were the ones that got canceled. So I have not been able to get that. Am I going to get it? I'm not sure because now they recently announced again, they keep releasing a lot of merchandise, that now they're going to have that same locket released again, but as a mirror, and then the heart, cosmic heart, I believe it's the cosmic heart locket also being released. So I pre-ordered those with one of my friends in Japan, so she's awesome, so she's helping me make sure, I, I she's making sure that I get them this time. Um, they also announced that um, they're releasing the wand, the crescent, the crescent wand. Um, it is extremely expensive. Um, I know you could get it, pre-order it at Amazon for $94. Um, but what I could tell you about it, it looks extremely accurate. I think it even looks better than the old ones. But of course, you can't beat the classic ones. You know, of course, or collectors, we have to have both. But I don't know if I'll pre-order that because, you know, as you guys know, I collect pull it items and Disney and now Sailor Moon it's just too much to be keeping up with so I'm not sure I may get it I'm not sure and that's basically it so I hope that you my Sailor Moon lovers enjoyed this video hope it wasn't too long and just bleh hope you guys enjoyed it if you have any questions please don't hesitate and ask and I will definitely put those links under my video and show you where you could get these items and there's more out there that I don't even have it's just so much it's just so hard to keep up with so but take a look you won't regret it so hope you guys have a fantastic Saturday bye